Good morning and welcome back. Uh, welcome back to my sleepy voice. It is seven o'clock. I thought today I would do a kind of work from home morning routine, kind of show you what I do in the morning. With my job, I work from home three days a week and I'm in the office two days. So today's Monday, I am going to be in the office Thursday, Friday this week, just kind of like with things going on, that's just kind of how it's gonna work out. So Monday through Wednesday, I'm home, which is kind of weird. I usually don't like to work from home three days consecutively because I kind of get bored and lonely and I need social interaction, but that's just how this week is going to be. So we're making the most of it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I am working seven to four today. So yeah, I just woke up. I put on this cute little, it's like a white matching set. I'll show you, it's from Amazon. Um, but we're gonna make breakfast and make some coffee because that's the thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. Also, I cut my nails off yesterday. I was just so tired of my fake nails that I just literally cut them off. I got gel, um, but like they're just so expensive. So like I'm like like to get the dip and the gel polish. So I'm like, let's just do short, short nail summer. Let's start with breakfast. Normally I used to make like eggs, like an omelet, like eggs, spinach, cheese in the morning. I just found that it was kind of like heavy and like not necessary. So I've been kind of switching to more of like a yogurt parfait kind of thing. Um, so I actually get everything from Aldi. That's normally where I shop. So I get this Friendly Farms Plain Light Non-Fat Yogurt. Um, so good. You can also use Greek. I just don't like Greek yogurt. I don't like the way it tastes. So I just get this regular plain yogurt. Um, I don't have a banana right now, but I normally put a banana on here, which I really wish I had today because that sounds so good. So I just kind of put a little bit of yogurt in here. This breakfast honestly keeps me full longer than an egg, which is really weird. Okay, and then you can obviously, this is kind of like self-explanatory, but you can also do whatever you want, like with the toppings. Um, to, I usually do this oats and honey granola. It's almost out. I think I got this from, I don't know if I got this from Aldi or not, but I'm almost out of it, and I love the granola. So, kind of pack this on. Yeah, it smells so good. I went to go buy it again. This is why I'm thinking I don't. I didn't get it from Aldi. And it wasn't there. So I got like this apple one, which I'm not excited to open. So, and I always use honey. But wouldn't like a banana be so good on this? Um, I know a lot of people do like raspberries or blueberries also on their yogurt. I am not a berry girl. I wish I was. Um, so it's a little bit of honey. And yeah, that is going to be my breakfast. It does not look cute, but it's delicious. And I'm just, like, honestly gets me out of bed in the morning. That's how much I love it. Let's move on to coffee, the most important meal of the day. Um, let me get a cute cup here. Look how cute this cup is. I got it for my birthday. It is so cute. I love the shape of it. Like, I kind of want, like, more cups shaped like this. I can't explain it. It's, like, the perfect size for coffee. So, I was in Seattle last week, which if you have not seen that vlog, go check it out. Um, I literally, like, the whole time I watch it, I just smile because it's so fun. And, like, I love, like, recording family trips because I have a horrible memory. Anyways, um, they're known for their coffee, obviously. I think it's not, like, a, like, everyone knows that. So, my Elizabeth and I, we went to the grocery store to make sure we got some whole beans from Seattle. So, we ended up doing that. And um, I have this Coffee Bear cold brew thing. And what you do is you put the grounds, it's like a tube, um, like a filter in it. You put the grounds in there and then water around it and you let it sit for, I usually let it sit overnight. So, I did this ground, it was probably like exactly 12 hours ago. Um, and then it is so strong because it's concentrated. Um, yeah, we're gonna kind of do this. So what we're gonna do is open this up, take out the grounds, and then we'll pour it and make our coffee. Okay, ignore my dishes. I have to put them away today. It's on my list. So 
this is such a good product i will link it down below and this brand is really good one time i missed i like i lost the lid like in my move and i just messaged them like can i buy the lid separately and they're like no let us, let me just send you the whole a whole new one like elizabeth's had the same experience where like she lost something or something broke and they just sent her a whole new one so i think it's a smaller business like a family owned um so here's the grounds oh my god it smells so good and i fill it to about three fourths of the way and i basically just dump um i should actually probably use in the trash can i'm gonna go dump this in the trash can be right back okay it is cleared out um i kind of shove it back in here i'm so excited i've never tried seattle coffee before i have a feeling it won't disappoint okay here we go i am going just to pour this in here that much this is gonna have me feeling so energized I already know you know we're just gonna do the most today for our coffee so I have this cute little little cup that I thrifted um, and I have my little what is this called you know what this is um, and I am going to put some creamer in it so I have almond milk non dairy creamer it's fine it's not my favorite one I I've tried, but I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. It's so weird the color of this, like, I don't know, I can't explain it. And then I am going, to, oh, it's the frother. I'm gonna froth this. Okay. And then just like, how satisfying is this? Beautiful. Honestly stunning. How yummy does that look? Oh my god, I'm like so humid in my apartment this morning. But let's try the coffee. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. Um I am actually going to eat my breakfast and I have like a few things I just have to, I have like a meeting at nine. So it's like some things I have to get done before then. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Enjoy my meal um, and just kind of like start this week off kind of slow. Um, I've had such a busy couple weeks, not complaining, just a fact and i am still feeling the effects of that so I'm trying to kind of take it slow today um so yeah i'm gonna do some work and um we'll check back in later we'll do some skincare and i'll show you some other things i do in the morning just to kind of get my week starting right Okay, there. Okay, it is 8.50. I have a meeting at 9. I've been working on this video um, that I had to, like, watch and review. Since I last spoke to you, um, I finished my coffee. It's not hitting like it should. Like, I feel still feel a little tired. So, I'm going to have to grab myself a second cup of coffee um, before my meeting. But we are going to do a little bit of skincare, and then I'm going to let you guys go so I can kind of get on with my day. Okay, so my face is so oily this morning. Um, I was just like really hot when I was sleeping last night. I'm not really sure why. So normally I don't cleanse my face in the morning. I usually just use a cleanser at night. But when it's like oily like this, I kind of do like to use a cleanser. So I'm just going to quickly go in with this one. It's not too rough, like a exfoliator. That's just too much in the morning. Um, but I am going to use like a little cleansing cream it is the it's all falling off i don't even know the brand hmm. it's this cleansing cream it is a skin and co whipped polishing cleansing it's uh the truffle one so i actually got this in a oxy charm i believe when i used to get those that's like the one thing i miss about getting my boxy charm is the skincare because 
like Skin and Co is a really good brand. Um, so I do miss that, but not worth it because their price keeps going up. So I just always wet my face. I'll take a little bit of this. It's so, look, like I said, it's like a cream. So it's very soft on the skin. Like it's not too harsh. It smells so good. It's just like, it has like that spa scent that like, it's either like, I want to go back to bed or I'm rejuvenated. I can't tell. I'm going to wipe this off. I know you're not really supposed to use washcloths. I just, sorry, I can't get past that. Sometimes during the day, depending how my skin is doing, sometimes I put a cre like a oil on. I'm not gonna use like an oil oil, but I am gonna put a little bit on just because I've had a busy couple weeks and my skin is hating me. So I'm gonna use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is heaven. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my skin, not too much. Cause if I use like a, strictly like an oil my face again just like feels so gross throughout the day i don't usually do too much in the morning just because your skin needs to breathe you know we are going to do a little bit of eye serum i just feel like my face is really puffy so i'm gonna go in with the mud uh vitamin infused eye serum i will link everything top to toe. eye cream i have a love hate relationship I've been trying to get better at it. Um, but like I find when I put it on at night and I like go to bed like and read for a little bit, I like rub my eyes and then my eyes start to burn. I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer, of course. I always like to do like a light one uh, for during the day when at night I use like a thick creamy one to kind of really put the moisture in. Um, but for like me just sitting around the house, don't need that much of intensity. So I'm using the Pure Soak It Up Intense Hydrating Moisturizer. I've talked about this a million times, how the packaging is so cute. It's just like a light kind of moisturizer. Oh my God, it's like a jelly. I love my new nails because it's so much easier getting product out. But this is the best feeling. So I'm gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I didn't realize today was gonna be such like a talking kind of morning routine, but that's just how I felt this morning. As you can tell, I think the coffee is setting in pretty well. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know if you have any other questions about kind of my work from home process. Let me know like how to not get distracted, how to stay motivated because I feel you if you work from home. Um, cause I think it's really good to kind of make time to socialize and things like that. I just heard that little ring. I have to go. Bye guys. See you next time.